Thing. I just turned 30, which is fun. It's the time of your life you're supposed to get married. All my friends are getting married. I think this is a weird time of year to do that, though, because it goes Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, April Fool's Day, so it's I love you, let's get wasted. Just kidding about saying I love you. <laughs> One of my friends got married the day after Valentine's Day. So thinking her theme would be Valentine's Day, I was like, what was your theme? She's like, we did, like, love, like, under the stars, like, under the sea. <laughs> All my friends are getting married and they get really excited about planning their weddings. And that's great. And I get really excited about planning a breakup. <laughs> Is anyone else sick in the head like this? <laughs> All girls are. Guys, just so you know, from the day we start dating you, we keep tabs on everything you do wrong. <laughs> so that if and when we decide to break up with you, because I don't know the wind changes direction, <laughs> we can then take, we can extrapolate one isolated incident and use that as the piece de resistance of the masterpiece of this breakup. You're weirded out by me right now. I'll give you an example. I dated a guy for three months. First date, we're out, we're having drinks, we're talking, taking muscle relaxers, hypothetically. <laughs> and we're having the obligatory first date conversation. I'm like, where are you from? What do your parents do? What do you <laughs> What's your middle name? I don't give a fuck what your middle name is, but it's a nice thing to ask. So I was like, what's your middle name? He's like, my middle name is Paul. Now, as like, I don't know, a normal person in society, what do you think his next question to me should have been? Thank you, polite Australians, yeah. What's your middle name? But he never asked me my middle name, and I fucking remember that shit. <laughs> yes. I had the perfect breakup planned. I had a fantasy breakup. But just so you know, each person I break up with, each breakup is tailor-made to that specific person's faults. These are not template breakups. These are not generic breakups, okay? We go specific. I wanted to have a breakup in the rain, emblematic of the tears shed during the relationship. That's what I wanted. Every girl's had the fantasy of the rain breakup where you run out maybe in white, tits out into the woods. Don't run into the woods. That's a bad idea. <laughs> and I have that. That's what I wanted. But I live in Southern California where it doesn't rain. So you could ostensibly be married for five years before you get a shot at a rain breakup. <laughs> So here's my fantasy, Melbourne. Okay, so we'd be sitting on the couch and I would start a fight over anything. When you're a girl, you can do that. He's like, <clears throat> you're like, what did you say? <laughs> He'd be like, I didn't say that. I'd be like, you know what, I just forget it. And I would pluck a nose hair so I'd start crying, okay? <laughs> I can't cry on cue, I'm not an actor. <laughs> and I, you, when you cry, you can do like the bachelor kind of cry. You ever see girls on the bachelor when they cry like this? <laughs> Big French tip nails. <laughs> The reason women cry like this, I found out, is so we could preserve the integrity of our eyeliner while agitating collagen production. That's what this is. <laughs> He'd be like, what's your problem? I'd be like, you know what? Just, when a girl does this, duck and cover. Just forget it. <laughs> forget it. And I would run out of my own house. That's weird. Run out of my own house. <laughs> Prior to going out there, though, that morning, I would have set up orange parking cones in the street so we could have a designated fighting area for this West Side Story style breakup. Yeah, I can't have traffic coming in out of my breakup. All right, this is my breakup. <laughs> So we'd go out there, and I'd start yelling. I'd be like, leave me alone! I want the neighbors to come out. I want everyone to witness this. Because I need an audience, obviously. And I'd come outside, and I'd be like, just get away! Ow, he hit me! He'd be like, get back inside! I'd be like, this isn't working. I don't want to be with you. Get back inside. You're embarrassing me. No, I'm not. Why don't you want to be with me? I just feel like we've been dating for three months, and we don't even get... We, we don't even know each other. Of course we know each other. Really? What's my middle name? Thanks so much, Melbourne.